Hello, I'm Dr. Sundari Mace, and I'm a county's health officer. I'm here to share the latest updates on coronavirus with uh, Sonoma County residents. As of April 23rd, we have 194 confirmed cases of COVID, 99 are active, 93 have recovered, and we still have the two deaths that we have reported. We've done 4,851 tests to date. Today, we're gonna to talk about our drive-through testing that the county is setting up. Starting on Saturday, April 25th, and continuing into the next several weeks, the county's Department of Health Service Disease Control Unit will be testing the most vulnerable and high-risk groups for COVID-19. We'll be using a drive-through testing format. And please note that there is a very specific plan for rolling out this testing service to uh, the people highest at risk first. These tests will not, will not be available to the general public just yet, but we'll get there. The county has recently received a number of swabs and the ability to test. So now we're able to expand our testing capacity for COVID-19. The capacity for robust testing is a critical component to protecting the public health and uh, further works to flatten the curve. So we're really happy to be able to offer that service. So this weekend, Saturday, starting Saturday and going on for as long as we need, we will be testing healthcare workers, both symptomatic and asymptomatic healthcare workers. After we test healthcare workers, we'll be moving to our symptomatic first responders. After that group, then we'll be moving to people who are over 65 and those with underlying medical conditions that are symptomatic. After this, uh, we will be moving to uh, people who are, are working in our essential infrastructure areas that are symptomatic. And then of course, to anybody who's symptomatic in the community. Uh, eventually, we hope to be able to offer the service of testing for surveillance for asymptomatic persons in the community as well. So you may ask, uh, who are healthcare workers? Healthcare workers are defined as any individual employed at a healthcare facility whose job duties put them in contact with patients regularly. This would include medical staff, such as uh, doctors, nurses, nursing assistants, social workers and counselors who work in healthcare facilities, front desk and intake staff who come into contact with patients, dietitians, housekeeping and janitorial staff, and security personnel who are working in healthcare facilities. Uh, healthcare workers should call and make an appointment at 707-565-4667. You will get a live body on the other end and some intake questions will be um, asked, after which uh, you'll be getting an appointment for when you can drive through and the location that you'll be driving through. Uh, testing for the other groups will be announced at a later time as we're able to accommodate that testing. Uh, the ability to monitor and protect communities through testing is also one of the governor's six key indicators for modifying the stay-at-home order issued last week. So this is a really important step in that direction. The drive-through testing will be conducted in the parking lot area of the Sonoma County Public Health Laboratory in Santa Rosa. Um, and only those priority job categories noted will be eligible for testing at this time. Um, and an appointment is required to get tested. Unfortunately, we ask that only people with a scheduled appointment attend, and we will need to turn away individuals that don't have a scheduled appointment. So make sure that you call the line and schedule an appointment before you come to the drive through testing site. We would like to have this a very organized and structured testing so that we can get people through and out. Again, I wanna repeat that testing is currently only for healthcare workers that are symptomatic and for asymptomatic healthcare workers. So now I'm gonna to turn to our community questions. How is Sonoma County doing in meeting the governor's six key indicators for modifying the shelter in place order? There are a number of areas that we're trying to make progress on. Of course, the ability to test is the first and foremost indicator. And with this increased testing, will make great progress. Uh, we will continue to use the other five indicators um, for our own benchmarks and we'll keep people updated on these indicators 
as we move forward. Thanks for joining. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. And we'll talk again tomorrow.